Brigadier General Bakary paid a visit to the Army drone units consisting of hundreds of UAVs deployed in an area stretching over one square kilometer. The drones included the Army's pilotless operation, combat, interception, detection, surveillance, organic war, suicide UAVs of all the four forces of the Army. The displayed UAVs, enjoying various kinds of combat and logistic multirotors, are capable of launching operations under the electronic war conditions and are also equipped with jamming systems and deception radars. Some of the unveiled drones were the recent products of the Iranian army. The Iranian army started its first large-scale drone combat wargams in Semnan province on Tuesday with the participation of hundreds of drones used by the ground force, air force and navy, Deputy Chief of Operations of Iran's Army Admiral Mohammad Massavi said. Today, the Islamic Republic of Iran is one of the able and most powerful countries in the field of drone production, Admiral Massavi said, adding that various types of sophisticated drone systems used in the Army's ground, air, and naval defense will perform their pre-designed missions in real combat conditions. UAV combat operations including air interception and destruction of aerial targets using air-to-air -air missiles, destruction of ground targets using bombs and pinpoint missiles, as well as widespread use of suicide drones, are among the measures that will be carried out in the operational part of this exercise," he went on to say. The commander further elaborated, the flight of naval drones from a vessel in southern waters of the country, long-range flight of pinpointing suicide drones to destroy vital targets in the depths of enemy's soil will be one of the drone combat exercise plans. Participation of UAV units from other parts of the country and monitoring land, air and sea borders are among the other important measures that will be taken in this large-scale drone combat exercise, he added. Some UAV equipment, achievements, and subsystems produced by the experts of the Army and defense industry will also be unveiled in an exhibition in the presence of senior officials and commanders of the Iranian Armed Forces. Supreme Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Said Ali Khamenei has also earlier urged the Iranian Armed Forces to further reinvigorate their capabilities and deterrence power. The Islamic Republic of Iran does not intend to start a war against anyone but you. Armed forces should increase your capabilities to the extent that not only does the enemy fear attacking Iran, but also the shadow of war against the Iranian nation will fade away with the help of the armed forces' solidarity, might and effective deployment," Ayatollah Khomeini said, addressing Navy officials and commanders in Tehran on the occasion of the Navy Day in Iran. He added that the armed forces' preparedness played as a deterrent power against the enemy threat. Although U.S. sanctions interrupted Iran's ambitious drone program several times, it didn't stop it. For years, the IRGC managed to circumvent these sanctions and smuggle key components necessary to manufacture drones from several countries such as Germany, France, the United States and others. In one noticeable case, authorities in Frankfurt charged two Iranian Germans with smuggling 61 German-made aircraft engines between 2008 and 2009 to Iran for its Abable 3 drone program. Iranians were eventually able to produce more drones than ever before, but this process was not challenge-free. The IRGC faced a lot of challenges that are mostly related to creating the adequate communication infrastructure to control UAVs and arming the drones with air-to-ground missiles. In the aftermath of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action nuclear deal between the Obama administration and Iran in 2015, Tehran showed an accelerated tendency to further develop its drones and deploy more of them in the region.
In one of its latest statements, Rear Admiral Hossein Kanzadi, the head of Iran's navy, claims that Iran's drones are watching every U.S. ship in the region, adding our drones have significant ranges and have no limitations in communication links. We have a complete archive of images of American vessels approaching from very far distances, an immense archive of the day-to-day -day and even moment-to-moment -moment movements of American forces, whether in the Persian Gulf or Oman Sea. Such statements suggest that Tehran had been able to overcome one of the problems regarding communications infrastructure, however, it is believed that the challenges to the national drone program are still the same with the exception that drones are becoming more integrated in the country's military doctrine to carry out offensive attacks.